If I can't hold my peace, if I can't just sit still and go through the motions, you see, I'm going to have to get out into an hour. I'm going to have to give over to the Lord. Forget about keeping all the things in God has delivered me. He has set me free. He has given me a new life. He has taught me to better. You see, when I came back this second time, I came a different way. I didn't come to see and get taste. I came to taste and see. And when it was only a matter of moments, I lifted my hands in that prayer room. And I began to praise God out loud because that's what they asked me to do. Amen. I didn't understand that I had to get the praises of God in my mouth if I was going to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. You cannot receive the Holy Ghost until you get the presence of God in your mind. And when I begin to praise God in a loud voice, they laid their hands upon me, and it was only a matter of a couple of minutes. I began to speak another language. What I could not understand. But I knew this was real. And I knew it was powerful. And I knew it was what I had been longing for all my life. There was a boy that was being healed in my soul that the world could not feel. The Budweiser could not feel. The marijuana could not feel. The petrol pain could not feel. But there was a power of God on the inside of me. It was in me. It changed me. It delivered me. I realized after that that these people they are crazy. Amen. But I realized what it was they were crazy about. Amen. They were crazy about Jesus Christ. Who had redeemed their soul? Who had forgiven their sin? Who had washed their name? Who had filled them with power? Come on high. Put it back your hand on the door. Amen. Yes. Jesus. Amen. Yes. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hold your peace. <laughs> Amen. You see, that's the enemy's voice. All yep. right. Be quiet. Yep. <laughs> Amen. Hold your peace. Jesus! Oh, oh, I need a miracle! Yes. Jesus! The devil has come against my home and I need a breakthrough! Yes. Jesus! I need to rely on the house of God!
You know what kind of spirit ridicules praise? Amen. A barren spirit. That's right. Oh. That's right. I know ridiculed her husband. Amen. For his praise. Amen. Look at you acting silly before the people. Amen. My day didn't do that. Oh, look at you. Look at you casting off your kingly robe. Come on. And being common with the people and Amen. praising and, and making yourself look like a fool. Amen. My daddy would have never done that. Right. Yep. You know what David had to say? All right. And your Amen. daddy's not king anymore either. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's a barren spirit because God struck her with barrenness. Amen. Because she ridiculed praise. Right. Amen. And any spirit that would allow praise to get on their nerves. Right. Amen. No matter how silly you may think it is. Amen. No matter how crazy you may think it is. It's a barren spirit. Amen. And we need some more praise in this house. Amen. We need some more worship in this house. You see, it's the will of God that my lives will get me and be unstoppable. Amen. But we need to leave God no choice but to perform His will in this place. And when we leave God no choice, we got praise. We got sacrifice. We got worship. We got contemplation. We got prayer. God has no choice to say, you know what? I've got to pour out my power in this place. I've got to pour out the miraculous in this place. It's a persistent spirit. It's a spirit that's going to praise God even when you don't feel that praise of God. Amen. Amen. 